I invite you to close your eyes, steady your breathing, in and out through your nose, slowly. Bring your attention to the tip of your nostrils and how the air feels cooler here on the in-breath and warmer on the out-breath. Keep your focus on this feeling in your nostrils as you breathe in and out. Keep breathing slowly. Imagine a vast ocean early in the morning. The sun is rising over the surface of the sea. You are on the beach where the waves lap at the sand. You're picking up some diving equipment. You've had your diving training and a new adventure beckons. The boat arrives. You are helped aboard and shown your comfortable seat at the front. The sun is on your face as you gently sail out to the middle of the ocean. You feel yourself glide forward steadily. And then the boat stops and drops an anchor. You know it is time to disembark. This boat will stay here all day and will be there to take you home when you're ready. You stand up, take a deep breath and take in the bright blue colour all around you. The sea, the sky, so many different shades of blue. When you feel ready, you climb down a ladder and in the glinting sun, you lower your body into the warm water. You're bobbing up and down there in the water, ready to take the plunge. When you start your journey, you'll be choosing to dive deep into yourself. It's a bit like diving into that ocean to learn what is there deep down. So imagine that you're floating on the surface of the sea. You take a deep breath and you dive deep down. Be aware of your movement down through the warm water. You are completely safe. As you dive down, the water surrounds you and holds you. You can breathe so easily, and you feel held, supported and warm as you swim down deeper and deeper. Current pulls you this way and that way. You just trust and let go, and you swim deeper down. You are on a journey you are carried by the current. You don't have to decide where to go, just let yourself be carried. With each moment you surrender yourself more and more. You let go and allow yourself to glide along wherever this journey will take you. Up, down, sometimes smooth and sometimes turbulent, but always knowing that you are safe. Let yourself surge down with force and purpose. You are swimming deep into yourself, exploring parts of yourself that you've never explored before. You can trust that you'll be shown all that you need to see, that you will feel all that you need to feel, without you needing to control anything or rationalize it, or even make sense of it. All you need to do is trust let go and be open to these waters. See what you might find. As you dive down towards the seabed, bring your attention to your body. Slowly sweep your awareness over your body from your fingers down to your toes. The very tips of your fingers, hands, forearms, upper arms, shoulders, neck, face, the top of your head, the back of your neck, upper back, chest area and heart area. Let your attention rest around your heart. When you breathe in through your nose in a slow in-breath, it's as if you're breathing into your heart. Breathe in, 
hold the focus there in your heart and breathe out of your mouth, let it out. And again, breathe into your heart, hold the breath there, feel the warmth of it, and then exhale, let go. Breathe into your heart, breathing through your nose, and then breathe out through your mouth, letting it all go. And then continue to move your awareness to your stomach, to your thighs, your calves, your feet, and then to your toes. Now bring attention to the whole of your body and the space inside. Do you feel any tension, any tenderness? If you have any uncomfortable sensations in your body, don't try to distract or avoid. Instead, try to really feel them. They are messages from your body that want to be heard. This is a time for opening up and for learning. If there is an uncomfortable sensation, make space for it. Allow it to be there. Feel it all. Rather than trying to distract your attention away from it, give it your full attention. Say yes to that sensation. You might even choose to give it permission to get bigger. So rather than distracting your attention from anything that feels uncomfortable, go deeper into it. If your chest feels tight, really stay with that feeling. If your stomach feels knotted, stay with that feeling too. Now you are diving deeper into the ocean. There are so many different directions you can go in and so many things to see. There are bright corals and beautiful exotic fish with shafts of sparkling sunlight shimmering down through the crystalline blue. You notice the most beautiful, delicate sea creatures revealing elegant displays in this magnificent, multicolour wonderland. In other places, the seaweed is thick and the water is murky. Be carried by your willingness to experience everything fully. Trust that the currents will take you where you need to go. If you see a tangle of weeds, swim straight into the very middle of it, not away from it. In and through you go. Right through the middle and out of the other side. You have a torch. Shine your light into the murkier places, explore everywhere. Experience this opportunity to see and feel things you've never experienced before. The ominous tangled seaweeds as well as the bright sea flowers. At times you may find yourself swimming against strong currents and moving very slowly. Let go of any expectations or requirements of yourself. Let yourself be slow. Do stuckness fully. Let it be just as it is. Can you say yes to whatever is there, to each moment, exactly as it is, without needing to change it? Trust that the learning will come in time. Maybe it's important to feel stuck for a while. Meaning will unfold. And now you swim down to the seabed. Run your hands deep through the mud. Feel it to its depths. Sometimes what has been hard and dark and spiky in your life might be waiting for you there. It feels like the water gets cooler and shadowy and you come across piles and piles of spiky, ugly oyster shells. The fish don't swim here. The whole place feels uninviting and you might want to turn back and find those beautiful fish and shimmering turquoise waters again. But go on, go forwards, go right into the pile of shells, let yourself feel them every rough angle. The shells are firmly shut, impenetrable, difficult to open. These oysters represent the hardest spikiest, darkest things in your past. 
that you've kept firmly shut and out of sight. The oysters also represent the heavy feelings, the negative emotions, the feeling of depression, of grief, of fear, of loss. These oysters are the things you usually want to avoid. So now that you are in the realm of dark shells, take this moment to connect with your body, the sensations. Are there any uncomfortable feelings? Is there any fear? Fear that it will be challenging, that it won't work for you, or that you won't do it right. Are there any other painful feelings, difficult memories, feelings of shame or frustration at yourself? If you can identify a difficult emotion, or maybe there is more than one, imagine that each one of those difficult feelings is a separate oyster shell. Each shell represents a difficult thing that is there in you right now. Take time to really search yourself and bring to mind all the emotions you can feel. It's okay if there are positive emotions. When you are ready, Take some time to really feel each one. When you make space for these emotions, it's a little bit like prizing open the oyster shell. Open it up, even though it feels tight and spiky, and like it wants to stay shut. Prize the shell, open gently, just a little, opening up just a bit to this feeling. Give the feeling more and more room to grow. Stay with it, really feel it. Where do you feel it in your body? Make space for it to be there. When you open up oysters like this, when you search deep into the spiky things that first seem impenetrable, sometimes you'll find a pearl. The way a pearl is formed in an oyster is that a little bit of grit gets inside the shell. The oyster responds by very slowly coating that little bit of grit with mother of pearl. It doesn't eject the bit of grit, it lets it stay there and coats the grit in a shimmering beautiful layer that turns it into something very precious. The oyster accepts the grit and turns it into a treasure. So now that you've opened your emotion-filled oysters, search them for pearls. Search for the lesson in your pain, the meaning in it. That is the precious gift, the pearl in your oyster. When you have the pearls in your hand, swim up, up through the water towards the sky. You're swimming with great energy, kicking your legs. As you swim up through the surface, sweep your attention over your body, from the top of your head down to your toes. Just notice how your body feels. You are gracefully pushing up to the horizon, and then with great energy you burst through the water. Suddenly there is great calm. The water is still. The sky is so huge, and it is glowing from the pink sun which appears as if only a few meters above the surface of the water. As the sun continues to rise, you feel it getting hotter and hotter all over your face and shoulders. Then you see the boat. It has been there waiting for you all this time, with its anchor holding it steady. You climb aboard, put the breathing equipment away, and sit on your comfortable chair at the front of the boat. And as you sit there, wrapped up in a blanket, you feel incredibly light and free. You gaze at the rising sun. The water is still and calm, reflecting the pink light from its silvery surface. You open up your hands and look at the pearls you brought with you from the oyster shells. Now spend a little time thinking about the oyster shells and those pearls you found inside them. Remember the message from the pearls. How might this experience inform the intention for your upcoming journey? How can you honor these feelings? 
The boat is now reaching the beach, and when you're ready, you can start to open your eyes. <laughs>